Well, members of his church and congregation came together in Plains for Sunday school service this morning. The former president taught Sunday school class for decades. It drew in thousands of visitors from across the country. Today's lesson on legacy, especially fitting, especially for this weekend. Our team coverage continues with Fox 5's Deidre Dukes. Former President Jimmy Carter on the hearts and minds of many now praying for peace and comfort for the Carter family. An outpouring of love and support from churchgoers at Maranatha Baptist Church. The day after the Carter Center announced the nation's longest living president, is in hospice. And Lord, we'd be amiss this morning if we did not lift President Carter to you. Lord, we pray that you'd be with his family, Lord, those around him, and God, we thank you for his service to this nation. On Saturday, the Carter Center issued a written statement confirming former President Jimmy Carter has entered home hospice care in his hometown of Plains, Georgia. I just want to read one of Uncle Jimmy's quotes because when I saw that it, this was on a legacy, I thought, oh no, this is gonna be really hard. Jimmy Carter's niece now leads the same Sunday school class that Mr. Carter taught for decades. Kim Fuller quoted her uncle's own words during today's lesson on legacy. My faith demands that I do whatever I can, wherever I can, whenever I can, for as long as I can, with whatever I have to try to make a difference. Church member Jan Williams has known the Carters for decades. He was a great governor and a fantastic president. A close family friend, Williams moved to Washington, D.C. to help oversee Amy Carter's educational instruction while Mr. Carter was in office. I don't think we'll ever have another president like him. Uh, he really cared and he loved his, he loved from his heart and people, people wanted to be more like him after they came here, especially to hear him teach. In Plains, Georgia, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. Amen.